Hey guys, so I'm back with another uh, tablet review. Um, this time we have this tablet from XP Pen. Hopefully you can see the whole thing on here. So this is the Artist Pro 16TP. Um, it's a screen tablet, so you know you can see the display on the screen. Um, this box is very huge. <laughs> But yeah, so I figured we'd unbox it and take a look at everything, and then afterwards I'll do a little speed paint for it. Um, so yeah, I guess we can get started. Um, I've already gone ahead and taken all the plastic off of this and um, the tape off the sides. Um, I opened it just to like make sure everything was okay, but I can unbox it again now. And uh, sorry if the camera's shaking a lot, it's like... <laughs> my phone on this very skinny little tripod so <laughs> all right so you take the box off or the cover off you have more of this art inside which I think is really cool um, and it unfolds like this and then we have the tablet what's really nice about this box as well is I don't know if you can tell but there's like foam padding here on the inside um, makes it really nice um, so yeah we have the actual tablet right here and I can just pull this to lift it up it's still got the plastic on it obviously um, yeah it's a good size I think I don't know how well you can tell the camera but the work area is about from like here to here because um, this is also a uh, touchscreen tablet so it doesn't have any of the little like um, hotkey buttons on the side. It's actually all controlled with touchscreen, which is something I'm really excited about trying out because I've been using my iPad Pro for like the past like four years, so I'm used to touchscreen controls. So like, you know, double tap for undo and like pinching and zooming, stuff like that. So I'm really excited to try this out with those uh, controls. And what's also neat about this tablet is the hookups for um, hooking up to your computer are up here on the top instead of normally they're like on one of the sides which is like just really convenient because your computer is normally going to be in front of you so I like that a lot I've had a lot of problems with like having to twist cables around and then the cables just don't last as long and they get all bent out of shape and whatever but this is nice I like this a lot the back um see so yeah, let's check the other stuff out um so this is probably yes the pen box so it comes with it comes with more tips on the inside and shows you like how to take the tips off and then pen box how to open so i guess you push in and then oh okay all righty this is like like metal like thick so that's really nice um so we have the pen here with some different nibs on the side and i think they're all mostly the same ones but i'm not quite sure um you have your pen and then i believe this is also a non-chargeable pen um so you don't have to ever plug it in and it has the eraser here and the nib and got yeah it looks like one button on the side so let's see yeah pen feels pretty good it's pretty light so we'll see how that goes put that back in back in this very fancy box cool get this plastic out of the way um it also comes with these different adapters, uh, depending on where you live. So that's nice that that's all included. I'm in the U.S., so this is what I need. And it just looks like it has a little port in the back that you just plug into the cables, which I think... Oh no, these ones just hook on. Ah. Uh, do they do this? Do, ah, ha, ha, ha. All right, so this is the main thing, and then these just like 
snap on depending on which one you need. And now I just have to figure out how to unsnap it. <laughs> well, well now we're stuck forever, I guess. Uh, <laughs> oh, there we go. I was just doing it the wrong way. Okay, and you just unsnap it and there you go. So that's pretty neat. So this, I'm assuming, actually, I don't know. I don't know what this is actually. Do, do, do. Ah, okay. This is like your warranty card. And what else is in here? I think, ah, it's just the warranty policy. Oh, you get a nice little card in here. Um, got a screen wiping cloth the little branding on it and they give you one of these little pens or not pens got one of these little gloves and a quick guide okay so this is I think yeah it tells you about everything that's in there um, how to connect it up to your computer all that sort of stuff it has a bunch of different languages so Shove all this back in there. Please, 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 please. There we go. <laughs> and then, what is this? I don't know. Let's find out. How do I open it? Show the side. Okay. Ah, okay. Yeah. And this is all the cables that you need. Looks like this is an HDMI cord, possibly, and it also has a USB-C, and then more stuff that I'm assuming plugs into the tablet. All this is probably pretty intuitive once I actually like look at the tablet. <laughs> so that's all your cables. Everything is packaged really nicely, which is great. I know a lot of other tablets, sometimes they're, they usually have this, um, I don't even know what this is called, this like plastic thing, um, but they don't always do this like nice packaging, which is really nice. Um, I don't think I've ever used XP Pen before, but I have heard a lot of good things about it. What I'm most impressed about is this little pen holder, it's very neat. Alright, what is this? Ah, it also shows you how to yeah, replace the tip, which I believe if you needed to do that, you just go to this little thing right here and pull it out very easy. And then to put them back in, you just put them back in. So no need to use your teeth to get the uh, nib out like I am guilty of doing all the time. So yeah, I really enjoy this. Um, so I guess, just real quick, before I try to figure out how to hook this up to my computer, um, let me slide this out of the case. Um, yeah, I noticed there was like this like line on this and I was worried it was like a scratch or something, but I think it's just on the plastic. Um, if I can figure out how to do this, there's, this is too complicated for me. I have an art degree, not like a geophysics degree. What? <laughs> Okay, sorry if that was loud. <laughs> Plastic, you know. I'm absolutely destroying this. I could just use these scissors that are sitting directly next to me, but I guess I'm too in it now. There we go, that should be good enough. To just slide out and hopefully you can't see my very ugly reflection. So yeah, there's the tablet, everything's good. Um, yeah, it's also got the nice metal feel that the pen case has. And it's also got two buttons on the side here, which I will have to figure out what they do. One looks like it might be for gesture controls. The other one's probably for power, I would assume. But yeah, looks pretty nice. I like the like brushed metal. Yeah, 
we have this tablet and I'm going to test it out. I haven't drawn with a tablet in a while. As I said, I've been using my iPad for like the past four years. Um, so I haven't drawn on my computer in a long time. So there might be a little bit of a learning curve just for me. Um, learning how to get back into like Photoshop is what I'll probably end up using. But yeah, stay tuned for the, uh, the speed paint. And during that, I'll give some more stats about this tablet as well. So close that up and we can get on to that. All right, so here we are at the speed paint portion of this video. Um, so yeah, like I said before, it's been a while since I've used a, uh, like an actual tablet on my computer, and I've been used to my iPad for a really long time. So th there's definitely a couple hiccups here and there as I'm attempting to do things, but overall I had a pretty great experience with this tablet. Um, I have a couple stats for it that I can mention from the website. I apologize for any background noise. I live right next to a very busy street. <laughs> um, so the work size of this tablet is 15.6 uh, inches, I believe, which makes sense. Um, it's one of the biggest tablets like I've ever used, honestly. Um, I normally go for like a smaller size just because I tend to work pretty small. Um, I tend to work in like one little space and just zoom in really far. Um, so getting used to that sort of thing, having to move my hand a little more. Um, then let's see, it's like 4k, uh, display. So everything looks really nice. It's really smooth. It's, you know, looks, the colors are good. There's not a lot of like grain on the screen. Um, and it's like a shiny surface. Uh, so your hand kind of glides over it when you're wearing the little glove, which I would recommend with this tablet. I mean, obviously you don't have to, um, because it does get fingerprints because you do like touch it with the touch screen, but it does happen with every tablet. It's just the shinier surface ones tend to show fingerprints a little bit more, but if you don't care about it, like I don't super care about it, then it's not really a big deal. Um, so the parallax between the pen and the screen, like where the cursor was, was actually like really good. There was not a lot of discrepancy there. Like it pretty much put a line down exactly where I put the pen down, which is always nice. Um, it's always really annoying when the parallax is off. It makes working so much more difficult. Um, the pen pressure on this tablet was really good. It apparently, according to the website, has 8,192 levels of pressure sensitivity, I guess, which, yeah, like, it, it works pretty well. You can get your lines pretty little and get them pretty fat. Uh, it also has tilt controls, which I personally don't really use, but some people use them more. It has 60 degrees of tilt control. Um... What else? Ah, yes, the biggest thing about this tablet that I was really excited for is the touchscreen. Uh, so right now, there's only like three different gestures you can do um, that will like affect your canvas, which is the rotate, zoom in, and zoom out. So I guess it's kind of two. <laughs> um, it took a little getting used to how the rotate would work, uh, but after practice, it isn't as hard. I kept, like, zooming in when I wanted to rotate, but it's probably because I'm very used to my iPad. Um, so it's a little different there. It's a little, I guess, s not slow, like, a little clunkier than how, like, the iPads is, but I honestly haven't seen this sort of function on a, like, plug-in screen tablet, so I'd assume it's kind of newer technology. They're probably still working it out, but it still made my workflow a lot faster than having to go up and, like, press the buttons or find the rotate button, all that sort of stuff. Um, one thing that I didn't quite take advantage of as much as I should have because I like to, 
like lean on my arm when I draw, so I didn't really use my left hand very much. Um, with a tablet like this that has a touch screen, you can simply just uh, touch your sidebar to get to the different tools that you want. Um, I still went over and like click them individually every time because I'm very used to doing that, but yeah, you can just touch them, which, uh, you know, nullifies the use of, like, hotkeys. Like, you don't super need hotkeys when you can just touch something, and there it is. Um, I did set one, like, hotkey, I guess. Um, the button on the pen I set to be undo, just so I can have a really quick little undo. Since that, you do have to, like, either go to a menu for, or press Control alt z on your computer. Uh... So yeah, I set that up on my pen, and it was great. And I did this little drawing, which obviously you can see is Lucy. I wanted to do a uh, fun little design of him. It's It feels like it's been a while since I've drawn him. Um, and I also wanted to make some new merch. So I figured, okay, I'll draw this, and I'll make it as a sticker available in my online store. And I'm also going to put it on t-shirts on my Teespring. So I'll have links to those in the description that you can check out. Um, and you can get this design on a t-shirt or a sticker. Yay! <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy this. Honestly, I did really like this tablet. This is going to be my go-to whenever I have to use like my laptop uh, to draw. Um, which, to be honest, I don't use it that much because my iPod has a lot of functionality, but this is a really great, um, tablet if you don't have that sort of thing. If you're, you know, wanting a nice screen tablet, it's very, like, sturdy, uh, feels good, doesn't feel cheap at all, uh, feels like it'll last a long time, um, and the display and colors are really, really nice. So I definitely highly recommend it, um, and again, thanks to XP Pen for reaching out to me and letting me test out this tablet. I had a good time with it. So yeah, that's about all I have to say, so I'll just let some music take it away and enjoy the rest of the speed paint. Thanks guys!
Just be